Hello and welcome to Radio Tarana's Digital Space. I am with a man who needs no introduction. Oh, well, he's actually a brand in himself. Talking none other than Salman Khan. Salman, good evening. How are you? Thank you. Pleasure I'm to good. be with you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank um, you. Salman, every year you have a fans who have a surprise day in terms of movies that you do. This year, what can we expect? Um, we only try and do um, movies that, that, you know, um, that we think that would um, would make an impact, you know. Um, so that's what we're doing this Eid as well. And it's just not Eid. Um, any festive holiday that any one of us releases a movie is because people have those holidays and, you know, um, they have the time and it's a festive holiday. Everyone, the families are together so they can go and watch the movies together. That is the only reason why um, all of us release movies in um, uh, on festive dates like I have Eid releases, I have um, Diwali releases, I have um, mm, Christmas releases and also we've done um, releases on the 15th of August, 26th of Jan, you know, whenever there is like a uh, you know, public holiday or there's um, people making merry and you know uh, having fun, that's the right time to release a movie. Always. Always, right? Always, always. Without, without pakaying, without preaching, yeah. without giving any lectures, you know, a nice humorous way. If you can take back something and not put in forcefully, it just comes in. You know, organically into the movie, mm -hmm. then that's the best way to come and you know uh, speak your heart out. Right, Salman, you and singing. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to. In Sultan, I did, but they didn't take any of my songs. So this one. <laughs> you sang Jagdhumi, right? Yeah, I sang Jagdhumi, yeah. but they didn't put in the movie. Right. No. <laughs> Salman, now with Tube Light again. Um, ye Tube Light naam. Who, who came up with this name? Uh, Kabir came up with this name, Tube yeah. Light. Yeah. And Kabir did. Of course, there's a reason why the name of the movie Yeah, is because um, the boy is very simple. He's, um, he's special. He's um, like a really nice guy and uh, pure. It's pretty much you. So, no, no. no. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> um, so, all the kids in uh, the village uh, call him Tube Light. कि ये थोड़ा सा देर से जलता है। तो बत्ती, बत्ती टाइम से होगा ना। I'm talking about the monetary side of it. You're also producing. I'm producing some. Yeah, I'm producing movie. जब आप मूवी प्रोड्यूस करते हैं, when you know all your films are doing 200, 300 crore plus business, as an actor, creatively कितना प्रेशर होता है आप पे रहते हैं? Hugely, hugely. No, no, hugely. See, uh, if you're putting in so much, you know, today the the, the budgets are not that small. You know, they're going to 100 crores, 150 crores, etc. So when you're going to put in that much money in a movie, you need to be very confident of the script. So when a tube light comes to us, but before tube light, one has refused 100 plus movies. So it's not that. Yes, it's, it's, so it's not like just tube light has come. 100 means a lot of movies, a lot of movies. So I keep on hearing scripts, lines of scripts every day, some of them which I like and then ask them to go and work on them, on the screenplay and the dialogues and then eventually they don't turn out right. Some do. So my next lot is just Tube Light, there's Tiger Zindai, I'm doing Dabang um, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a film with uh, Remo on dancing. Oh, yes. Yeah. The last time I actually heard one of your interviews, just me, I told you, you actually read the script um, and then there's something that is very catchy to you about the script. So no, I don't. I don't read. I don't read. The, I don't read the script at all. I hear the script. Uh, I take a narration of the script, and if in the first narration I feel that it's like that, I should cancel all my work and do this movie. That's the only time that um, I I would do a film now. So and then um, I need to revisit the script once again to confirm, you know, that. <coughs> That should I actually do or not? So I hear the script twice. Once um, that I have to instantly like it, and after that, I need to sit on the script once again to to be sure whether it, it excites me that much more, or even 
more than the first time I, I heard it. So is the movie Cube Light now in post-production? It's in post-production. We've yeah. finished shooting. We've done with the, with the shooting of the movie. So it's in post-production now. It's almost ready. It's, it yeah, yeah. Lastly, a lot of people are talking about the part where Shank is doing a cameo in the film. Yeah, he's doing, yeah. It's very generous, very yeah. kind, very nice of him to come and um, do this cameo. Is it a song or? Is no, it's not a song. It's a scene. It's a scene. It's a part of. It's a very um, important, crucial, integral part of the movie. Uh, apart from the very reason that you are a part of film, can you give me two more reasons why people should go for Tube Line? See, um, when you see the first poster, you like it, and you see the first teaser, and you get fascinated by the movie. Um, um, when you see the first trailers, the songs, you should only go and see the movies because you like what you see in the promos and, you, and the songs. And um, what happens is um, the audiences have a very uncanny knack of knowing that trailer what is in the trailer, that's all there is in the movie. So they don't go and uh, catch the film yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. But there are films that. <coughs> the teasers and the trailers and the songs that they see in this they want to see more of that and those are the movies that they should go and see because um, you know, like this is my thinking when I used to go to the theatre which I still go to the theatre I still look at the poster and I still see all the trailers and then the trailer fascinates me mm -hmm. I want to go and see the movie interviews interviews um, talking about a movie because we can't actually talk about a movie Mm -hmm. You know, you know, give the script away or talk anything about the movie interviews. You can just listen to them, and you know, pretty much um, they're really boring. Um, yeah. So um, I don't think that just by you know uh, telling people you must go and see this film and it's this you know a brilliant story and it's like the most wonderful movie that I've done. Everyone is going to talk about their movies like this. No one is going to say that it's a rubbish, shitty film. Hmm? And, uh, you know, um, when I saw the movie myself, I hated it, but I can't say it. No, and no, yeah. one can. no one's going no yeah. to say that. So you need to make up your mind. You need to see whether you need to uh, go and watch the movie, your favorite stars movie or not so favorite stars movie. It's only because of the because you get a good vibe from the um, the, the television set the, the, on, on social media, from the promos, from the teasers, from the songs of the movie. Just and the buzz, yeah. Very soon. Very soon. Very soon. Very soon. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you.